Hi everybody, it's Brandon again here, and um, what I'm doing today is a little different. I a few months ago I bought this laptop on Amazon. It's called the Asus L210M. I think it was under two hundred dollars, which is why I got it, and it came with Windows 10, which was pretty slow on it. And I got the update to Windows 11, and it was also slow. Um, since Windows sucked on it so bad, I put Fedora Linux on it, which ran good. But I got an email the other day from Google saying that they have this new Chrome OS Flex that you can put on any old laptop. So I thought I'd give it a try. I made the installer for it. You have to use a Windows or a Mac PC and a USB thing to make an installer. And I put it into this cheap Asus laptop, and it installed really quick, pretty easily. And so now I have Chrome OS on this thing. I've never used Chrome OS before. This is my first experience with it. So um, I thought I'd just show you guys how it worked on this cheap laptop. Uh, this is what it looks like, as you can see. Um, there's this little button in the corner, which I guess is their equivalent of a start menu. It looks like this, kind of neat. And I, one of the first things, I thought it was annoying that, say I had like four Chrome windows open. I on Windows, you can hover open the Chrome icon and it'll show you all your windows. This didn't happen here. But I noticed if I press F5, I kind of get a screen like this that lets you pick through different windows and create new virtual desktops. So that's neat. I'm sure there's a ton of other stuff I haven't figured out yet. Since this isn't an actual Chromebook, my uh, keyboard does not have the uh, drawings and the buttons on it that a normal Chromebook would, so I'm not exactly sure what everything does, but that's fine. It um, automatically set up any apps that I had set up in the past as progressive web apps on Chrome, so it knew everything that I had previously installed, like my Voxel Paint app worked fine, as you can see here. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, YouTube is the web app version. It's If you have an Android phone, messages will, you can sync it to your phone and do your texting and stuff from the Chromebook. I thought that was really cool. And the files app, it's kind of basic, but it works. I haven't been able to connect to my network, though. Like, if you go to this menu, there's a, I don't know, services, SMB file share which I thought I should be able to connect to the local shares on my network. And it does find one of my computers eventually, but I can never actually connect to it, and I can't connect to my Windows. So I don't know what's up there. And also, this Chromebook, I don't see any tools for partitioning. Um, on this laptop, when I got it, it came with a cheap 64 gigs of internal storage, which is not enough for Windows for sure. So I installed a one terabyte hard drive in it which Chrome installed to the one terabyte hard drive, it didn't give me an option of where to install it to. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to put this Chrome OS Flex on a computer with multiple hard drives. But on the other drive, it has my three partitions here. And I suppose I can save to the ext4 partition. And I have an option to format that if I wanted to. But I can't do anything to these other two partitions on this drive, and I don't see any partition manager on this thing. So any advanced tools, you're not really going to find. However, I did notice it is pretty trivial to get Linux working on this thing. In the settings, if I can find the settings button, you search for Linux, and... There's a Linux development environment. Um, turning that on was as easy as flipping a little switch, and now I have the Linux terminal here. You can install things to it. I installed FileZilla, and it worked pretty easily, as you can see here. There's all sorts of Linux stuff. I tried, um, I tried to install OBS Studio on this to do this recording with, and it installed, but I couldn't launch it. It said it's not supported on Chrome OS, so that's fine. I'm sure there's problems with Linux on here, but the few minutes I played around with it, it seems to work fine. I've installed some other apps, no problem. And apparently on Chromebooks, you're supposed to be able to get Google Play. I don't see it on mine. It must not work right now with the Chromebook Flex or Chrome OS Flex because there's Play Books, Play Movies, but those just go to the web app. Um, 
so I don't know how to get the actual Play Store to install Android apps onto this thing. And as I said, it might not be possible yet with the Chrome OS Flex, which is fine. Um, to me, Android apps on a laptop are not that great anyway. But yeah, this setting this up was super easy. If anybody has an old laptop laying around that's slow on Windows, it might actually run pretty good with Chrome OS. You can uh, just search for Chrome OS Flex. You fill out your name and some information about yourself, and I'll give you a link to install it. Like I said, you have to have a USB thing to inst create the installer onto, and then it works pretty good. So, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to know about this Chrome OS Flex, anything you want me to test out and try, just let me know and I'll do it. Other than that, oh, by the way, to record this video, I had this extension called Screencastify that I've used in the past for other things. It worked fine for this. I'm in recording my desktop, no problem. I'm not even going to transfer this video to my main computer to edit it or anything. I'm just going to upload it straight to YouTube from this little Chrome extension. And so yeah, this is Chrome OS Flex running on this Asus L210M laptop. Seems to work good. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. Goodbye now.